This video deals with tracking objects in Phaser 3, and I've already set up some code that I used in my last video to place images in random positions. And it's just preloading the images here based on string, and then picking a random position based between 25% and 75% of both the height and the width, and then placing it in that random position. To drag these dots, the first thing we need to do is make sure that the dot can take input. And we do that by using dot, set interactive, and then we could set a listener on each dot, but it's cheaper in the long run, meaning using less resources of the processor, to add as few listeners as possible, and then to turn off any listeners that we're not using. First, we need to detect when the mouse or the finger and from this point on, I'll refer to either the finger or the mouse as the pointer. This input, and this being the scene, this input on pointer down, this start drag, and this for the scope. Start drag. And start drag will be passed two parameters. One is the pointer, and the other is an array of targets. So, for example, if I click down on this group of dots here, it would pass me everything that was under the mouse. And we just want to deal with one target. So, var target equals targets zero. And once we click on something, we don't need this pointer down anymore. So, this input on pointer down, we'll just change the on to off. And then we'll set up a new listener, this input on pointer move, this do drag. And that also gets past the pointer. And I'm just going to go ahead and set the target here. We'll change that from var target to this drag object. This drag object equals targets zero. And this drag obj x equals pointer x, and this drag object, y equals pointer y. Let's have a look at that. And I can drag it, but I can't let it go yet. So when we add the pointer move, we'll add another listener, pointer up, and this stop drag. Make that function stop drag. I'm going to copy these lines here from start drag, paste them in stop drag. I can take out where we define the drag object. And I'm going to turn back on the pointer down and turn off the pointer move and the pointer up. Let's have a look. And up. So now I can drag and drop. Pretty cool. If you'd like to learn more about Phaser, including my ebooks, Skillshare, and Udemy courses, and tons of Phaser freebies, go to phasergames.com or click the link below in the description. And don't forget to subscribe.